We don't have to deal with that here, at least not this morning. A live look at downtown Miami, and you can see a few lights are on as people are beginning to wake up uh, dark and early at 4 yeah. 46 this morning. All's quiet now, but yeah. you know, we get those afternoon pop up showers from time to we time. Do. Well, time to time is quite often here in South Florida. <laughs> Angie Lassman joins us now with a peek of what we can expect throughout the day. Guys, the good news is that that's going to become few and far between, right? Because rainy season ends tomorrow officially. Of course, we won't have 0% rain chances after that, but we're starting to wind down into the best time of year here in South Florida. But we have some warmth and a few showers to deal with in the short term. So here's what it looks like out there. Still, of course, dark and early. We're going to keep it mostly dry and mild today. Just a 30% rain chance, so really moderate for you uh, as you're out and about for your Thursday. But the rain chances, they're dropping and so are the humidity levels and even the temperatures here as we transition through the weekend and into our next work week. I'll show you all that here in a moment, but we've got to get you out the door with some of those current temperatures. Upper 70s in most locations, Port Lauderdale at 77 degrees, along with Miami and Opelika. If you're waking up in Pompano Beach, it is currently 70 degrees there and hanging out into the 80s down through Monroe County with 80 for Marathon and 81 for Key West. Our highs today land into the upper 80s, so warm and a little humid for us. Winds are anywhere from 5 to 10 miles per hour, and you can expect a few showers around, maybe a thunderstorm or two, but otherwise the sun and clouds will be around with a very seasonable day on tap for us. Checking in on that first Lord Doppler 6000, most dry. Remember, I said we're just going to see a few showers uh, here and there throughout the day, and most of those showers are right now hanging out into those ocean waters. So just off to the east for us, we had a, a little teeny shower move through portions of Miami Dade County. You can see moving right to the west over Miami Springs and then fizzling out really essentially before it makes it to the turnpike. Otherwise, we are quiet. No other rain to show you out there on First Alert Doppler 6000 right now. But how about through the rest of the day? Let's check in on Future Tracker. There's the spotty rain chance that I said you can expect through even the morning hours into the early afternoon. We'll still have a little bit of sunshine out there, but most of these showers will be well to our west. We'll just watch for the western suburbs really to be dealing with the better chance here for the later parts of our day. But overall, still a fairly nice day no matter where you are across South Florida. And it gets even better. Rain chances, they hover around 30% through the end of the work week, and then they drop significantly just in time for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, just an isolated chance, even better forecast for Monday, and it's not just the rain chances. Our actual humidity levels are going to drop as well. We are looking at that humidity tracker where it shows the really moist environment that we're dealing with for the short term. By the time the weekend rolls around, though, some of that drier air starts to push down south towards the peninsula, towards South Florida, and leaves us feeling a lot better. So here's what that looks like for you. Like I said, quiet through really the end of the work week and into the weekend. And then that lower humidity arrives on Monday, brings us temperatures into the mid 80s, guys. And we keep it going through Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.